While we are all locked down due to the coronavirus, we may have time to focus on long-term projects we have been putting off. Perhaps it is time to finish plants in a garden or finally clean out the garage. For many of us, it's a good time to focus on finally developing an estate plan. Hello, I'm David Frederick, Director of Wealth Planning at First Bank Wealth Management. I'd like to briefly discuss the value of estate planning and then mention the five components of a basic estate plan. Some people think that estate planning is only for wealthy people or people with large families. While it's true that these groups may require more sophisticated estate plans, anyone who is interested in preparing for the future and relieving burdens on their families could benefit from having at least a basic estate plan. An effective estate plan can help a person have a sense of certainty about what will come, which may be especially important during uncertain times like these. The first and primary component of a modern estate plan is the living trust. A trust is simply a legal arrangement whereby a person with assets, known as the grantor, puts assets under contract and gives instruction to an administrator, known as a trustee, on how to manage the assets for the benefit of a person known as the beneficiary. This may seem complicated, but a trust is actually a very simple way to make sure that assets are always well managed and properly allocated. With a living trust, the grantor, initial trustee, and initial beneficiary are all the same person, meaning that a person who creates a living trust can continue to hold, manage, and enjoy his or her assets for life. But when the grantor dies, a new trustee takes over, managing the assets for one or more new beneficiaries. The whole process is designed to flow very smoothly and efficiently. The next component of the modern estate plan is the pour over will. There was a time when wills were central to estate planning, often coming in at well over 50 pages of thick legalese. Now wills are typically only a couple of pages long and primarily serve to put assets into the living trust at a person's death. In other words, the modern will merely pours over assets into the trust, hence it is called a pour over will. The will may also have ancillary purposes, such as naming a guardian for minor children or giving funeral and burial instructions. While the first two components focused on preparing affairs for death, the remaining three components deal with preparing for incapacity. That is, these last three components help meet the needs of someone who is still alive but is unable to manage his or her own affairs, usually due to a medical problem. The first of these components is a power of attorney for finance. The power of attorney for finance allows a person to nominate someone, called an attorney, to manage his or her finances should he or she become incapacitated. This component is fast becoming obsolete as an effective living trust can replace its function. But this is still considered part of the modern estate plan. The next component is the power of attorney for healthcare, and it is far from obsolete. The power of attorney for healthcare allows a person to nominate someone, again called an attorney, to make healthcare decisions for him or her if he or she is incapacitated and incapable of making decisions. These decisions include what kind of care to offer or withhold, as well as how long to, to use extraordinary measures to prolong life. The final component is the advanced directives, often called a living will. The advanced directives serve as instructions to an attorney for healthcare as to the kind and extent of care a person would like if he or she is ever incapacitated. Advanced directives often contain instructions on what the attorney for healthcare should do if the person is in a persistent vegetative state or is being kept alive only through artificial means. If you would like help with creating an estate plan or with any other aspect of financial planning, please reach out to a financial advisor at First Bank Wealth Management. You can reach me directly at david.frederick at fbol.com. Thank you.